How quick did that boat go yesterday? Uh, we got up to about 20 knots, which is pretty benign for a boat like that, and it wasn't blowing very hard. Uh, wind gear's not quite working yet, but about eight knots of true wind speed, doing about 20. So take that to its logical conclusion. How quick is it going to go? Well, we, we know how quick it should go based on the prediction programs that tell us. Um, and, you know, you can easily see it'll do 40. And that's those YouTube water skiing boats. It's one of those sorts of ones you could water ski from it. Well, you can water ski at about 20-odd five <laughs> knots, can't you? So I guess it won't be too hard to water ski from. I'm not sure. We actually got a pretty fast chase boat that we thought about wakeboarding at 55 knots. Is it concerns for you as far as getting a, a blank area of sea that you can train without whales or fishermen or the Waiheke Ferry or whatever? I mean, you know, because you're not going to be that manoeuvrable either at that sort of speed. Oh, yeah, a bit like a car. You can manoeuvre, you know, it'll twitch pretty quickly when you are going fast, but you've got to know things are coming at you. And in fact, out in the Gulf yesterday, after the big nor'easterly that we've just had, there is, I think, half of the Great Barrier Island is, is actually in the Gulf at the moment, and there was a lot of debris. And it would damage a boat like this at that speed. So I, I, it's not a problem, but you definitely have to keep a lookout. What, you're on Google Earth looking for logs or something? I tell you, it was unbelievable. There were, I mean, there were flipping trees. You could have lived on some of the stuff that was out there. Can I just say that up, up to now, you probably won't agree with that, but some people have found America's Cup uh, quite difficult to, to get excited about. Rich guys a long way at sea. You don't know what's going on. They're not that fast. You lose the starches all over. Suddenly, it seems to me as though it's going to be a lot more exciting. Well, the first thing is you won't get any disagreement from me that it's difficult to understand, and rich guys have just about destroyed it. Uh, so I'm the last person that will argue about that, and part of our job is to try and reinvigorate the New Zealand public to those, uh, hopefully one day, those glory days of Red Sox in 95. Certainly this event will be in close, in the confines of San Francisco Bay, between the bridge, Golden Gate Bridge and Alcatraz. Very easy to see. Races are quite short duration. I think the biggest thing and I, to this point, don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, is, that, is ultimately someone's going to be quite a bit better because these boats are so fast that any better technology or, or effective technology will probably extrapolate into quite big speed difference. But they're certainly spectacular, and it won't be... Well, America's Cup's not that hard to understand. One boat beats another boat, you win, you know, except then they jimmy the rules on you. But, I, you know, as I say, I don't disagree with you that the, the public are, are yawning a bit about it, and I don't blame them. I've been doing that for a few years now. But you can also go into more... You can go into the wind in these, can't you? I mean, you, 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 there's, there's not the tacking so much, is there? Yeah, there will be. You, you, the thing about a catamaran compared to a one-hull boat is you don't quite have the ability to... to, to uh, because they, when you tack them, they slow down. Maybe you're doing 20 knots upwind, and they'll slow down to 8 through the tack or 10 through the tack or whatever. So that very short time of differential and speed allows the other boat to get away whereas in the old boats you didn't lose much speed when you tacked so it's hard to race them close but but in saying that the boundaries in, within San Francisco's harbour or just physical boundaries as much as anything will keep the boats close. They look dangerous I mean unless you're going on one on one hull then you're on two hulls in on one hull, I mean, you're going up and down. What are people doing to look after themselves on board? I mean, you could kill yourself on one of these, couldn't you? Uh, you could absolutely kill yourself on one of these. And it'll all be cool and new butte and extreme and red bull until someone gets seriously hurt, and uh, then it won't be so cool anymore. And that is a concern of ours. Uh, well, we're doing a number of things. In our first sail yesterday, even in a benign sail, just to see it went, uh, went OK, we have a St John's guy... Uh, in the chase boat full time and we also have a uh, Westpac uh, rescue type guy in, in, in dive equipment if we flip to go straight in not uh, trying to find his wetsuit he's already ready to go so that's off the boat and we also have our own medic on board the, the chase boat as well on board the boat we carry small breathing apparatus and um, uh, we, we also uh, a knife close by helmets I'm going to take uh, swimming goggles as well because I find if I'm flipped in, I, I can't really calm myself unless I can actually see what I'm doing. But we're, we're, we're really treating uh, this very seriously. I know that you can only use this boat for 30 hours or 30 days, then you use another boat. Um, I know with America's Cup that prescription was very prescriptive. You had to have a boat that was... There were quite narrow parameters. What's going to happen with this competition? Are there narrow parameters or is someone going to front up with a boat that's just much, much better? Well, the... the when you get a new rule, which this is, even though the parameters are quite narrow, someone gets it right and everybody else gets it wrong, and then the next time everybody sort of works out what was right. So uh, 
the parameters are such that there's enough scope that someone's going to be faster, in my opinion. And reliability actually will be a massive issue here because these boats are so on the edge. So I, I don't honestly believe it'll be that close. It might be, but I think that someone will actually be quite a bit quicker. Do you think it's us? I don't know. I don't know yet. I mean, we're working like hell. Um, I mean, we're on a seven-day rotate now, and you, you're on working seven days a week unless advised otherwise now. I mean, it doesn't make you fast, but we're absolutely doing everything we can. But you're going to know the first minute of the first race, aren't you? Well, that's one of the intriguing things about the Cup, is that's exactly that. That's what you wait for, that first minute of first race. Who's fast? And that, that's actually actually good. I like that part of it. Good luck. Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs>